Hey everybody, welcome back to the Super Duty Build. In episode 94, I kind of took you through some of the basics of mounting the wings to the fuselage, setting the angle of incidence, getting the dihedral set. Once all that's done, it was time to get started on cutting, fitting, and drilling the wing struts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did all of that to the two front main struts on the Xena Super Duty. I now have my strut temporarily attached. At the bottom, I have the bolt in there. And if we go out to the top of the strut, you can see I have the attach fitting with a bolt through the fitting on the wing. And I've, dr or I've drilled three holes in here where the bolts will go through. And what I did, let me see the best way to explain this, is as it's sitting in there, you can see that this is a little bit twisted in here. And if you don't know what I mean, you can see here on the plans how it shows it slightly at an angle. And so what I've done now in each of these holes, I've just put my marker up there and put a dot on this fitting. So I think what I'm going to do next is take it all apart and then pre-drill the holes in the fitting. And then I'll be able to, I'll have put Clecos in here and then I can drill all the way straight through the strut and the attach bracket out through the other side of the strut and now to get the bolt all the way through. I've removed the strut from the wing or the airplane and I've drilled these three holes in a drill press and I did it in a drill press so I could get it absolutely perpendicular and I did that just like I did when I attached these bottom fittings in here which is a previous video. So I have it leveled this way and I have it leveled this way and that allows me to drill these holes straight. But I don't want to drill all the way through just because this, I can move this a little bit in here so it may not be perfectly at the right or the correct angle that it's supposed to be at. So I'm going to put this back on the airplane and I'll use my hand drill to drill straight through one of these and that will get this locked in the correct position. Then I can bring this back to the drill press and then drill through all of the holes. The strut is now back on the airplane and I have two Clecos going through here. Since it's all attached, everything is in the absolute correct position. And now what I'll do is take a drill and you gotta hold that drill straight. You know, you don't want it angled in any way. So I'm gonna do it as perfectly straight as I can. I'm gonna go all the way through just on the one hole. And what that'll do is that will lock this in the correct rotation. And then I'm going to take it off and then drill straight through all of those again and then open up all the holes to a quarter inch. Now what my ugly face is doing right now is I'm looking at this drill bit from both angles to make sure it's perfectly perpendicular left and right and forward and back. Once I've got it lined up, then I just drill all the way through. Now I will put this all back together. Actually, I'll put this one in. And now since I drilled all the way through this one, I can put a Clico in the bottom. And now this is held in the, the correct position. What I'll do now is put it back in a drill press and drill straight through this one, all the way through the strut. Then I'll put two Clicos in here and I'll take this one out and drill this one all the way through. And I'll do that all the way up to a quarter of an inch and that will be done. Now to drill these holes all the way through, it's important to have the wing strut level. So I've leveled it this way, and then I put the level on this one, 
and make sure it's leveled this way. If it's not level, or what I do to get it level, is I take this little wooden block and slide it in and out. Because when I slide it in, it will rotate the strut that way. When I slide it out, it rotates it this way. So I slide this in and out until that level says it's perfectly level. Well, that took a while to do, but all of the holes are drilled. The bolts are installed. They all are, they all are perfectly parallel. And everything now is set with the front strut. It's installed and now it's time to work on the aft struts. On the workbench here, I have my two aft struts and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they were perfectly even. But what I've had to do is I've cut an eighth of an inch off of here and then I had to redo this angle here. Fitting these aft struts is a little bit more work than I thought. The reason I had to cut that strut down, the, the aft strut here, is because the strut itself was hitting the mounting bracket. It was hitting it back here and it was hitting it up front there. So I had to cut the, uh, the strut back a little bit to clear this. And now, this strut will go on at an angle pretty much like this. And then so I've also noticed that it's interfering with the, this front strut. And you can see a line here where I'm going to have to trim more off of this angle on the back of the front strut. So, you know, a lot of this depends on, on how far in the strut you mount this bracket and then also where you drill this hole. On mine, you know, I've drilled it so I have a, a real nice edge distance there for the greatest strength. So if I would have made this hole a little further up this way towards the end, then this would have obviously sat out further and maybe the strut wouldn't have hit. So it just kind of depends on how, you know, how, how you trim everything and where you drill the holes and stuff like that. But the way mine is, uh, it's not just an easy fit here. I need to trim the, I need to take this front strut back off and trim this on the top and bottom. And then, like I said, I've already cut back the aft strut. So I'm going to end this video here because I'm going to take my time and figure out this aft strut on the right wing. Once I get that one done, then I'll make a video on how I mounted the aft strut on the left wing. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you again on the next one. Thank you.